Four months ago I tested a Sennheiser Accentum, their budget version over your headphones and I had quite a lot of complaints with them, such as the build quality, the lack of features and the cost. Now, four months later, Sennheiser seemed to have reacted to the criticisms of a lot of reviewers and released an updated version called the Sennheiser Accentum Plus that features a lot of things that bigger product the Momentum 4 actually sport. I've tested them roughly for two weeks now, comparing it with the regular Accentums right here and here's my very quick review right after the intro. Starting off this time around, inside the box you get two more things than you got with the regular Accentums. First, a hard shell carrying case, which is very much appreciated. And on top of that, a 2.5 to 3.5 mm cable, which means the Plus finally have a separate cable connection for wired listening. Next up, instead of buttons, Sennheiser decided to add most of the touch functionalities of the Momentum Force into the Plus, which to me wasn't something actually necessary, since I'm more of a buttons guy. But the touch itself works very well and it feels more modern than the older Accentums. Speaking of modernization, the Plus now also features a wear detection sensor on the right ear cup, which auto pause and plays your music whenever you take it off. This in my opinion is something that was more than necessary and one of my bigger critiques with the regular Accentums. Forgetting to pause your music while taking them off is something that actually happens regularly for me and coming back to a half empty headphone of course isn't that great. Speaking of the battery life, this stayed the same with the Plus, giving you roughly 50 hours of juice with one single charge, but Sennheiser decided to up the charging speeds to 5 hours for every 10 minutes of charging. Now comparing the ANC of both headphones, Sennheiser seems to have upped the ANC on the Plus, and according to their website, we now sport an adaptive hybrid ANC in the newer model, and to my surprise, it filtered out a tad more noise. Uh, not that much, a bit more like Plus. Another thing that was a bit of a critique with the regular Accentum headphones was the lack of customization options for the sound. And so Sennheiser added a personalization slider inside the smart control app. This gives you the option to change the sound profile to your liking, which is something I missed on the regular Accentums. But while testing this, I found the plus to react let's call it weirdly to this slider. Instead of, for example, just upping the treble, it began changing other parameters as well. So while one thing sounded better after the customization, something else started to get worse. In my opinion, this isn't worth the trade-off, sound-wise, when you're not changing anything. Both sound exactly the same still. And I still don't really find both accentums to be very pleasing when it comes to sound quality. They're good, and fine, but listening on 50% volume, these still sound kind of flat. I had to up the volume to 70% of their total capacity to make them sound fuller and more enjoyable, and 70% volume is quite high. As always, here's a small audio example directly recorded. Put on your own headphones and listen for yourself. <laughs> Now after listening to them, the only things left are a couple of negatives I still found. First off, the build quality is still very cheap. It's still the same plastic shell that I don't like on the non-plus version and I still think these are very flimsy and prone to breaking when using them over a longer period of time. Also, the mic quality hasn't changed significantly, it wasn't bad on the Accentums 
and uh, therefore it's not bad on the plus. But it's still nothing to rave about. Here's a small example of a simulated phone call. Hello, this is the mic test of the Accentum and to my ears both headphones and especially their microphones sound the same. At least, almost. But let's be realistic, it would be weird if Sennheiser would have changed the mics on the Plus version. Hello, this is the mic test of the Accentum Plus and to my ears both headphones and especially their microphones sound the same. At least, almost. But let's be realistic, it would be weird if Sennheiser would have changed the mics on the Plus version. And finally, they now jumped in price quite steeply. I bought the regular Accentums months ago for 149 euros, which in my opinion is the maximum I am willing to invest in a lower to mid budget headphone. And now the Plus actually start at 230 euros, so almost a jump of 100 euros. This is now playing in the upper leagues budget wise. And of course, they added a lot of features and technology in these, but 230 euros in my opinion is way too much, especially since you get the Momentum Force for 270 euros. That's only a small difference of 40 euros more for arguably probably the better headphone speaking of that i guess i need to compare these two as well hmm, guess this will be the next video then as always my name is leech and i'm off writing the next scripts if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to this channel there are plenty more of this type of content and many other things available for you to watch have a great day see you around and goodbye